you. Uh, that's a great round of applause there. Uh, gets me real excited. Makes me so excited my voice goes real high. <laughs> you know, tonight we have a really similar show for you. But why don't we start out by introducing you to Bradford Marcellus and the Tonight Show Band. <laughs> some of the headlines that are happening around our country, people are sending them to us. First headline, crazed gunman mows down 15 in post office. <laughs> Aren't these people taking this Elvis stamp thing a little too seriously? <laughs> All right. Second headline, says bank robbed, four security guards killed. And well worth the three thirty-five an hour, I must say. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. My first guest is the first bald person to win a Grammy since Isaac Hayes. Please welcome Sinead O'Connor. Come on out here, Sinead. for the singing of our national anthem, huh? Didn't you? Okay. That's good. You can take a joke like that. I guess uh, it's good to see you again. I guess the lesson for the uh, l young girls out here is that uh, you should never use the drive through window at Supercuts. Oh, that's very funny, Mr. Leno. Make your jokes. But I'm not a girl, you know, I'm a woman. This is just a sort of sexist attitude I dealt with all my life. Even in my own homeland of Ireland, where a grown woman is called a lassie. Lassie, huh? You look more like a Mexican heiress to me, Uncle Fester. You know, make your little jokes, Mr. Leno. But I'm not here on your show to promote my career. This is capitalist business, that's what this is. This is the Prime Minister of Norway. Her country allows the killing of thousands of whales. You know, I went whale watching once. I heard the captain yell, there she blows, and I thought somebody had spotted Madonna. Now, what has this cute little guy done to deplete whatever? Nothing, but I just find him really irritating. Well, I got one for you, Mrs. Clean. Yeah, this one up. No, our senor is a fine man and very politically correct. You know, when we were dating, dating. we'd often say to Dating? You, you were dating Arsenio Holmes? Yes, what of it? You have fallen from grace. You are no longer invited on this show. You have slept with the anti-host. Can you imagine if she and Arsenio had a kid with her bald head and his triangle head? He'd come out looking like a yield sign with a nose ring. Motorcycle riding producer firing Johnny should have stayed funk. Ah! <laughs> 